Hi everybody, I'm Corey Beatty with Armadillos. Today we're going to do an install in the Cabo Wolf Warrior. Uh, so real quickly, this is going to be an 11 inch tire. Uh, it's going to require about 4 ounces per tire, so we're going to use an 8 ounce bottle and put in about half of each. Now, this is a really fast scooter, so this is going to go about 50 miles per hour, so we've chosen the blue Armadillos Extreme sealant. Uh, this is made for high speed protection and is the top of our line. So, really quickly, what we're going to do here is we're going to come over and we're going to remove the valve stem out of this. Be sure to let that pressure go down before you pull the valve core. That way we don't end up with a projectile going on. Nice and slow. All right, once you get it out, take out your valve core, set it to the side so you know where it is. Now we're gonna take our bottle of armadillos. We're going to open this up. And right here, between this first ridge and the top, we're gonna to go ahead and cut the top of this off nice and clean. Always use a razor blade or other really sharp knife. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna position the uh, stem at the top so that there's place for the fluid to run inside of the tire. And we're gonna put about half of this bottle into the rear tire. Now we know it's half just simply by watching. We can take and we just give it a little jiggle. We can see how much we put in. Runs away from the sides really nice and clean. You can see just how much you've got in there. And we're gonna put just a little bit of a bias towards the rear tire. So we're gonna put probably just a touch more in the rear than we do in the front. So there we go. Now we go ahead, we're gonna replace the valve core in this rear tire. In, turn it back in. Make sure you get this in nice and tight. Don't want any leaks around that guy. So, there we go. Now we're going to go to the front tire and do the same thing here. So, front tire. Going to remove the valve cap here. Going to remove that valve core out of there. Again, make sure that this does not turn into a projectile. Get it on nice and slowly. Pull the valve core and set it aside so you know where it is. Now we're going to use the rest of this bottle in the front tire, so I'm just going to go ahead and empty. Stand there, and you'll notice I do a little squirt and I release. We'll squirt and release. Again, keeping that valve at the very top so we don't have any pushback through there. All right. Make sure to get it all. All right. Now that we've got that in there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace the valve core. As soon as we get this in there, we're just going to go ahead and air these tires back up to 50 PSI and we're good to ride. Again, get this in there nice and tight. Grab your compressor, lock it on. Set your PSI so that you're at 50. Set it up to 50 PSI here. And we're going to turn it on. That's it, folks. Fill it up. You'll be good to go. No more flaps. 